Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I want to do a little project here with one of these wood trucks that I found in the crafter's square section. Um, this is what that number is. People always ask me for numbers, but you can just um, pause that here if you want the number for these little trucks. But I thought these were so cute, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them yet, but then I came across some of this other really cool fall stuff. So we're going to put this thing together today. I'm going to use um, three of these little mini hay bales that they had in the fall section this year. Um, I'm also going to be using three of the skinnier um, popsicle sticks and these little pumpkins that they had this year in a little bag. It was just called um, Harvest Decor. They had those and they had these little uh, acorns too, but I'm not going to use those because those are a little bit too big for this project. So I think I'm going to use like four of these, but we're going to paint these so they're not so, you know, glass looking. And then I'm going to use some of the wood glue. And paints, I'm going to use red. I'm going to paint the truck with this imperial red. This, uh, I think all the paint I'm using is folk art chalk paint, except for this. I'm going to make the little bumpers there, this metallic. And this is Deco Art Dazzling Metallic and silver, Shimmering Silver. But the truck is going to be the Imperial Red. The pumpkins I'm going to paint with the Monarch um, colored chalk paint. And then the backboards here are going to be Burnt Umber. And then of course the wheels I'm going to do in a black. So the wheels are the only thing that's giving me a problem with this because they're not exactly round. They're kind of oval looking. So it took me a while to find something that I could kind of match up what these wheels look like. So let me get this tag off of here. There we go. So anyway, I took a quarter. That was the only way I could find to do this because nothing would work. It's some dirt, like I said, they're not completely round. I just put that up so it kind of matches um, the two little sides here kind of goes up like that, but it's, yeah, they're kind of really an odd shape, but, you know, you can kind of work with it with your paint, and I just traced around with it with a pencil, and that kind of works pretty good. It's going to have to go up a little more, I think, but you can see that when you're painting it, but yeah, they're more oval than they are round, but that'll work fine. So I did that, I did that on the same thing on the insides of them, too, to get the shape of a wheel, so... It's not hard, it's just you'll see when you use it, if you use a quarter to do that. So these guys I am going to paint, um, the wheels are going to be black of course. I'm not going to paint this whole thing on camera here because you guys get the gist. But let's see if I can do this from a distance here. And these wheels, it comes out pretty good using the quarter. There you go, that will be, I'm just going to do this one wheel here. Um, and like I said, you want to do that same way on the insides of them all, so they all look the same. And I never get it right the first time. better. Okay, so that will be how the wheels are going to look. And then, um, just for the, there's a little piece here you'll see for like the bumpers and like um, by the headlight here I think I'm going to add a little bit of the silver. And I thought that would look real cute for the bumper. So I'm going to paint all the bumpers and of course the inside too. Here's your back bumper, and on the front here, all I did was just kind of make it kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, because you really can't see what it is on this thing. It's kind of made like a little backwards C. Well, it's a frontwards C if you're standing it up. <laughs> and then right here, I just added a little silver for where the headlight will be. And now everything else on this truck will be red except for the little... Um, pieces that stand up here. Now what I did for these, and hopefully I don't stick my hand in paint, is I took this burnt umber color 
and I just painted it on real quick like this isn't the best brush for this but and after I got it all on here I wiped most of it off because I kind of want to see the wood grain so look at that see that's what I get for rushing but that's going to be painted over anyway all right so then I just wipe it off this is a good reason why to do this first because so see then you can see the grain of the wood in there and then I'll go over that with the red paint so you won't see that hopefully all right so that's what color that's going to be and like I said everything else is going to be red and I might go around in here and on the handle here with just a tiny bit of a silver just to kind of outline that space um, but I thought this red was really nice. So let's see. I need another brush. So this is what color the whole body of it's going to be. And I think I'm just going to do one coat because I really don't mind if I see a little bit of the wood grain through this. And actually I may paint this like a little step up here on the bottom of the truck. I may paint that. Uh, I don't think I want to do it in silver. I don't know. I may just leave it be. But everything else we're going to paint inside, outside, is just going to be the red. So I'll finish painting this off camera because you guys don't need to watch me paint this whole thing. It's going to take me some time. But that is how that is going to go. Now for the pumpkins, I used a little bit of the burnt umber. I already have a couple here done. I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Um, and I just painted them. I gave them two coats of the Monarch Orange. And you just, you know, just paint them up. This stuff sticks pretty good to um, the plastic. So I did two coats of that, and then I went back in with some of the burnt orange, and I just went around and did the stems. And this is how they are going to look. I always do a test one first, and I thought that looked really nice. So instead of being, you know, this, these real shiny, shiny things, you have your cute little pumpkin. So I'm going to do like five of these. I don't know how many I'm going to use on this yet. I'm not quite sure, but um, we'll figure that out when we get all done. Now, I need to make a little bed for in the back of this truck. See, there's a little space right in here um, that I'm going to attach some popsicle sticks and make a little bed of the truck. Let me turn this around so I don't stick my fingers in the paint. All right, so you're going to need three popsicle sticks for that and a pair of put my paint over here. A pair of wire cutters cuts these just fine. So what I'm going to do here is just measure this so this popsicle stick comes like to about the back of it and then I want to cut it off before it goes through the window there. You don't want to see that. And then I'm just going to take my wire cutters and give these a good squeeze because these come up, cut up, whoa, and it's gone. <laughs> I should have done that the other way. Hang on. Um, yeah, they cut really easy. So let's hang on to this one here. There we go. And now I'm going to need another popsicle stick. I have no idea where that thing flew off to. Alright, and so let me double check this here. I want the rounded part towards the back of this thing. Yes, that's good. Alright, then just take your other two popsicle sticks and you can measure it that way. And I'm not letting go of these. I mean, it takes a little oomph to cut them, but even if you got to give them two or three little squeezes, it'll cut right through these popsicle sticks. There we go. Alright. So now we're going to take some of our wood glue here. We're going to need these little pieces, too. So I'm going to just put a little bit of wood glue oops, on each edge here. Not a lot, because we're going to put a couple across the back, too. So... These two, let me make sure I got you guys in frame here. There, and then we're just going to glue these three together, try to keep them nice and even there. And you don't have to be perfect on these. This one's like a tiny bit off or something. And it's not, whoops, it's not going to matter because, um, ugh, butterfingers here today. All right, get them back together there. All right. And then we're going to take 
two pieces of this. I'm going to cut a little bit more off because it's too long. And we're going to use these for like little supports. I think that'll be good. Cut another one. But you can do all this with just three popsicle sticks. Alright, so we're going to put a little glue on these and glue them across to kind of hold them together good. And this glue is wonderful, this super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. It works really well. Alright, let's see if those are even. Alright, and we're just going to glue these little guys down. Now once this thing dries, I'm going to paint this the same way I did these. I'm going to put some of that brown on there and then just kind of wipe it off. And that is that. So, after we get all this painted up here, I will come back and then we can put this little baby together. Alright, I have everything painted. It's all nice and dry here. Um, what I was messing around with here was some of this distressing ink. This is the Tim Holtz um, distressing vintage photo it's called. You can get this at Michael's or wherever in where the stamping stuff is. Um, I like this stuff to just kind of, you know, give it a little more definition to like the fenders and the door and kind of make it look aged. You could smear it on here wherever you would want to. Maybe do something on the wheels. I'm just going to leave the wheels be because they were such a pain in the neck to try to figure out. Oh, and I did put a little bit of silver in here and in here just to show the door handles. But all I do is take like a stiffer paintbrush, whatever you might have, tap it on the ink here, and I just kind of like run it across wherever I want it to have a little aged look to it. Maybe like on this little bumper here, make it a little darker. I don't think I did that side either. But you don't want it to show up a lot, just kind of, just to give it a little definition. So he's going to run around the bumpers. As you know, that's where they would probably get a little rust first. And then maybe a little up across the top here. Top of the door. And of course, on this hood. I might come down a little further on the hood, just kind of make it look like it's curved a little. I don't think I did that. Yes, I did do that on this side. Not much. Alright. But I just think that looks cute with a little bit of the um, distressing ink on the different places. I love these little trucks. These are fun to do with. I wish they were kind of closed in more. I'm sure you guys may have a way to do that, but... I'm not going to worry about closing this one in. So I want to make this one kind of like interchangeable. Um, I love to make things that I can use for different seasons. Maybe I should have put a little silver back there with those little tail lights on it too. I may do that later. Alright. So then we're going to take our little back piece that we made here, the bed of the truck. And that's how that looks after I put some of the stuff on there and paint and wiped it off. And that's going to fit in there. They fit perfectly, those three little popsicle sticks. And I kind of just want it to stick out just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to use some wood glue, and I'm going to use a little hot glue. You don't have to use hot glue if you have time to wait for this to dry. But I want us to keep, be able to keep working on it here, so I'm going to add some hot glue in the center of it. So I'm just going to add a little wood glue here on each side of that little post. And then I'm going to put a big glob of hot glue right there in the center just so we can keep working on it here. But otherwise that's not necessary. Because that wood glue is wonderful. And let's see. I think that looks good right there. But yeah, this thing's way in the back here so there's like nothing to connect it to unless you ran it all the way up and I thought that would look silly. And these aren't even, they're not even. This one's down much lower than this one. So you kind of just got to glue it to that one piece back there. But that'll be fine. Alright, so there is the bed of a truck. There's not a lot of light in here today. I hope this is showing up, but it's really kind of cloudy right now. Alright, so now I'm going to take these three hay bales. I'm going to glue these together. We're not going to glue them into the truck. That way you can remove them. And you could add like a little Christmas tree for Christmas time. Throw some Easter eggs at Easter time. You could use this truck all year long. That's why I kind of want to make it just kind of neutral. So, 
I'm not sure what's underneath these wood, but it almost sounds like a wood block that this is glued onto. I'm not sure. I don't want to ruin one to find out. But anyway, let's see. And then this one's going to go right in the center of these two. Whoops. There we go. And we're going to just let that cool for a second. And there's our little hay bales. And I thought it would fit good to be able to put one of these pumpkins on each end. And then maybe two on the top, which I don't know if that's going to look odd. Or maybe we could stack another one. Oh, we sure could. There, that's what we're going to do. All right. I did five of them. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use five. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down. Oops, not in the front. There we go. Get out of there. All right. Put this one down over here. Yeah, that's going to work out pretty good, actually. All right. Offset this just a little more. And of course, I get the hot glue right in the front. And that look about right. They're just kind of hanging over just a little bit. Yeah, they're going to stick pretty good. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a little glue on each side of these. And put this little guy right in the center. So I think it looked odd with just four. Alright. And there's our little hay bales with stacks of pumpkins. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use these hay bales for, but they're awful cute. I'm going to turn that around and you're not going to see my hot glue that went on the other side. Alright, and then that will fit right in here in our truck. Look at that. I love it. And that's all I'm going to do to this. This is just going to be, you know, I'm going to put this out in between some of my flower arrangements and things, so I'm not going to do anything more fancy with it. And I really don't think it needs anything else. But yeah, so there it is. And that is all I'm going to do for this little project for today. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little project. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone.